Welcome, Jackrabbit fans, to our Thursday Jackrabbit All Access. This weekend, we competed at the Cyclone Open in Ames, Iowa. Uh, it was a great weekend for us, seven place winners. Um, and, and more than that, guys are starting to understand uh, the level of competition and what we're expecting from them. Very, very excited. Uh, true freshman Zeke Andretti took uh, first in the, or second in the tournament, um, as well as Alex Kocher took third, Joe Brewster was fourth. J.J. Everard fourth, Cody Pack fifth, Ben Schwery fifth, and Hunter Weddington was sixth. So we're excited about the competition uh, um, and how we performed there. It was uh, the University of Minnesota was there, Iowa State was there, West Virginia was there, um, and, and guys are competing hard. Turning our heads this week to Sunday, 2 p.m., University of Nebraska comes in, ranked in the top ten in the country. Uh, they have five guys ranked in the top ten. And we're just excited to, to get a chance to compete against them and see where we are uh, at this stage in the game. On a, on a side note, uh, Coach Manning, the head coach of Nebraska, is a Vermilion native, uh, as well as a 174-pounder. Um, Mr. Kokesh is a South Dakota native, as well as their heavyweight, um, Colin Jensen, who is from Mobridge. Uh, so, so we're excited to welcome them back to South Dakota. Um, and hopefully, we're going to be able to put on a, a great performance for you. Um, a couple of highlights for you. James Green, 157 pounder from Nebraska, uh, is a couple time All American, as well as Robert Kokesh, the 174 pounder, um, an All American uh, from Nebraska. Uh, a couple, couple other ranked guys from Nebraska, 125 pounder Timmy Lambert is ranked, um, as well as a 165 pounder Austin Wilson, who is ranked in the top 20. Um, so, so it's um, it's it's time for us to step up, wrestle some ranked guys, and it's time for us to start beating some ranked guys. Last week at Iowa State, we beat some ranked guys, and uh, it was it was uh, a great kind of turning point in our program. Guys are really believing in what we're doing, so we're excited. Come on out Sunday, 2 p.m. Nebraska. You're going to see some great wrestling. You're going to see some All-Americans um, out there, and uh, we're expecting a big crowd. Come support us. Uh, we're excited. On another note. Um, as I'm holding this sheet of paper, I've got the stats. Well, I'm very pleased to tell you uh, we have 27 total pins for the year already. Um, we are pin out pinning our, uh, our opponents. We have more major decisions than our opponents, and we have more tech falls than our opponents. So our guys are scoring points, and uh, it's something we preach every day. We want to put on a good product, a good show, and uh, just very excited about uh, their progress and, um, and, and, and where we're heading. We're sending the rest of the guys to Nebraska Kearney this week. Uh, they've got a great uh, tournament down there. We have, uh, I believe we'll have 20 guys possibly competing down there on Saturday. So stay tuned for those results next week. And um, you know, this week you're gonna hear from J.J. Everard, our heavyweight, took fourth at the Cyclone Open. A Couple of big wins for him. And uh, I think J.J.'s turning the corner and really, really expects to do well and uh, you know, JJ is just a sophomore. We're gonna have two more years out of him, plus he has a red shirt year. So uh, JJ's from California, and uh, he'll be on our show here shortly and uh, answering a few questions. Thanks for your support. We look forward to seeing you Sunday against Nebraska at 2 p.m. here in Frost Arena. Get Jack. Well, I'm JJ Everard, I'm from Montana, California, and I got to South Dakota State uh, through Facebook, actually. He recruited me through Facebook and, uh, you know, called me, uh, sent me a trip down here, and, you know, I loved it, so, you know, that's how I got here. Uh, well, this summer, I pretty much stayed here all summer, and uh, I went home, you know, two weeks. Uh, I stayed here, lifted, worked on my technique, uh, got a lot of extra work in. And uh, it's really uh, translating into this year, I think. Uh, all the small things that we did is starting to pay off, and it's working out good. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty, I had a pretty good tournament. Uh, I would have liked to have done better, but I you know, ended with fourth. Uh, I had a couple big matches. That was uh, the confidence builder uh, with the uh, Iowa State match. Uh, I used to, you know, last year, uh, you know, I, I struggled with the guys who weighed the full 285, 
And, uh, you know, being a guy who was a full, full 285 and I had a comeback win, uh, I think I scored like three takedowns in the last 45 seconds. And uh, yeah, that was a big one for me. Uh, if you guys heard me after, I was pretty happy. My goals are to, you know, keep winning. Uh, I'm on a, had a pretty good weekend last week. And I just want to, you know, take this into Nebraska and, you know, beat a good kid. Uh, I wrestled him last year and uh, I think I can beat him. So, uh, you know, just keep going forward, just keep getting better. I, uh, I love the town of Brookings. Uh, I don't know what about it, but uh, it's just like a small town feel, which I'm kind of from a bigger place in uh, California. But I like uh, the small feel and how uh, everyone's just so nice here, you know, just uh, genuinely nice people. So I really like it. Get jacked. Get jacked.